Okay. So now that we have everything set up, <clears throat> now you have a little bit different view of what's going on here. So what we're going to do is, is a facing operation. And how we're going to do that is, is we're going to take the tip of our tool and as it's running, we're going to go across the face and we're going to true it up. If you can see, it may be a little difficult to see, but I'm sure as the light moves off of this, you'll notice that that's not a very smooth surface because that's a saw cut. Now we're going to take it to a machine surface. So let's drive in here and make that happen. So remember, I want to make sure that I know which way my feed is traveling before I do anything. And, uh, and I've already done that, so now we're going to go ahead and run this part very quickly. Okay, a couple things to notice is, is that this didn't clean all the way up, so I'm going to need to take another pass in order to make that happen. But I also didn't take a heavy cut on the face. And the reason being is because uh, the, the, the facing operations, there's, there's a lot of uh, surface area involved with it. And also, remember, if we're calculating the surface feet per minute off of the, or the RPM off the diameter and the surface feet per minute, as I am changing, I'm also changing my surface feet per minute because my diameter is getting smaller. So I usually take that a little slower. Now, when we go to the turning section, it's going to be a little different story. All right, now my part is cleaned up at this point, and I can turn it around, or I can center drill and then move to, move to the next section. Now also keep in mind that I don't necessarily need to use the power feed for this, but I choose to do that because I get a little bit better finish. So when it, when it works out, the best thing to do is, is use the power feed, but again, it is suitable to do it by hand.